Hey everybody, it's Jada on Piano, where we make music make sense. And today, we're still going to be discussing and looking at some different suspensions. Alright, so let's jump right in. Let's talk, okay? Let's talk about the suspensions. You know, we were doing the suspensions from Dominique... Uh, Dominique Johnson, beautiful arrangements, Rich Tobert, right? Right. Now, see, I'm still working on that, getting good at it. But that was those movements, those inner movements where we went here and then right listen to and those were half steps right and this is a half step let's go to another one i want to show you this one here right again one more time right actually used a lot of suspensions on that but I'm only going to be focusing on this one here okay now this is a great move to go from a one to a four and because it sets it up so nicely going to the okay let's look at this in the song hallelujah and I just did a suspension there but that's not even what I'm focusing on it's a freebie right we got that here's where we're gonna put it something like that just the first little bit of that song we already put it in um i'm trying to think of another song that just goes straight from a one to a four. I, I won't even belabor you with that particular point. But let me show you how to make this, this, uh, these transitions, super super easy. First of all, the target or the chord we start on is a one chord, and then the chord that we're ending on is also a one chord, but it's leading us to a four chord. So let's look at this. I showed it to you in D flat. Let's look at it in the key of C. Okay. Um. So the first thing you need is your your left hand key of C what I'm gonna do is take a second inversion chord okay and I'm gonna put that with my one chord and then or so then I take my two chord right but it's real open space now if you take the whole chord you can take it like that take out the third okay so now we have a real open chord there all I've got here is the bass note and I'm putting in the seventh so I've got one D got both of these C's and then I've got the other F in there so two F's two C's and one D right there at the bottom that's what we're using to make the chord but when we're on this C that's the note that's gonna move See that? And then we move in here. So once we get to this chord is also a C chord. That's really what we're going to end up on. But instead of going straight to that C chord, so you could end up doing this. But that extra movement is going to be nice. So. So the D's, we put the D's in E and D right here. Same type of chord as this one, right? But then take these D's and go to the C. See that? So what we did, it looks like two minor chords, right? We can take this E chord. It looks like an E. And then we take the third out. Take the third out of this chord. The 
that's in your right hand. We did that here. We took the third out of this chord. It was an F major. We took the A out. It's a G major. We took the B out. Okay. Once we do that, then we roll back to the uh, C. Here it is again. Let's choose another key, do the same thing. So you can just see how this is fitting. I chose, um, that was C. Let's jump in, how about A? So, and notice how I'm keeping, when I said a second inversion, that chord, was it second inversion? Hold on. Yep, it is second inversion. So if I'm going to the key of A, I also need a second inversion chord. Here it is. I need minor, but take out the third. Said I'm in the key of A. Helps to know the notes in the key of A. And then we need, so we've got half of it here. And then we're going here. Oh. Right? But I need to take this. So here we are in A. See how to make that? And then we go to the four. Get to spin that as well. Right. That was the key of A. Let's choose a uh, flat key. We already did D flat, but how about how about G flat? Got my chord. Okay, get a second inversion chord. And there we have it. Um You know something really easy for you to add into your songs that when you're going from a one to a four also if you're going to if you've seen other lessons where you can change different keys and stuff like that um, also in this case this is just going from a major chord to a major chord because uh, let's go back here we're right here now this is the one chord, but it's a G or F sharp major, G flat major, both of them. But then the four chord is a major chord. Okay, so we're just going from major chord to major chord. So you can also look at it in that way if it helps you setting up different moves in other keys. But I just want to show you that in a couple of keys so you can take it and start putting in your playing somebody that I've heard do this a lot would be Aaron Lindsay love his playing love his style but if you check out you know some Israel songs uh, Israel Houghton or Israel the new breed you might catch Aaron Lindsay playing something like that so check that out add it into your playing um, it sounds real nice with a I don't have a pad patch with me but and it's not something you want to rush through if you notice in this case I was also rolling that see that so try that out as well but you can do it straight right so we can do something like that but anyway you guys take care and you have a great week